All right, so take a look at the plate. That'll give you an idea of what colonial morphology is. Um, I'm hoping these markers will work. So theoretically, <laughs> this is my nutrient auger plate. All right. Today we're going to be uh, using the uh, broths over there. They're going to be a mix of um, two or three different organisms, whatever you want to do. So they're all growing together. So when you look at that uh, broth tube, you don't know, you know, something's alive in there or something's in there because it's not clear, right? So the turbidity is different. So we know something's growing there. We don't know what it is, but they're, depending on which tube you pick, there's going to be two or three organisms in there. What we want to do is we want to be able to separate them out on a plate through serial dilution. So let's just say I have three organisms, all right? I'm going to just pretend that they're three different colors. <clears throat> right. So when I go to streak my plate, when I dip my loop in there, I'm picking it up. I'm going to have all three organisms in there, and they're going to be in very, very high concentration. Right. So I've done this before, so let's see if I can screw this up here. <clears throat> so I'm going to dip, I'm going to sterilize my loop, dip it in. I'm going to streak my plate. And what's to say I have all these different organisms on there? All right, so theoretically, let's just say I have a million bacterium on there. Okay, so when I say this is, there's a million on there. All right, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to, um, So I'm going to dip my thing in there. I'm going to spread it on here. Now, what I'm going to do with this loop, I want to sterilize this so there's zero uh, bacteria on the loop. All right. So I'm going to sterilize that. I'm going to touch it a bit auger here to cool it. Remember, I said if you stick the loop in there and it's it's super hot, you're going to hear the bacteria scream. They're going to sizzle and they'll be dead. And so I want to cool this off by touching it here. Then I want to grab my plate and I want to make like three streaks here. And so I sterilize it. Then I'm going to streak it out here. This is really sloppy, but get the idea. I guess I can use one color. All right. So let's just say theoretically now in here, there's 10,000 bacteria. I sterilize this, there's zero on it, then I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna swipe through here. So let's say it's sterilized, I'm going to do three swipes here. And so let's just say there's a hundred now, sterilize it again, cool it. And I'm gonna take, do my final swipe. I'm going to drag it through all three. I'm gonna kind of do this, or you can do it again. Drag it through here, just kind of do this, drag it through here, do this. So theoretically, it was sterile. I drag it through there. So hopefully, I will have one bacterium of each kind somewhere on here. So when I come back, I have I dragged it out to one single bacteria through binary fission that should grow into its own colony. So theoretically, when you come back. You should have separate small colonies on the plate where the serial dilution was the most. Right. Does that kind of make sense to everyone? Okay. Let's see if this on. 